Hi guys, welcome to this uh, little tutorial here. Now what I've done is I've created a hairstyle brush and I just want to show you how to use it. Uh, if you want to download this brush then um, just uh, visit my website uh, mojomojo.design where you can sign up and download it. Alright, so um, what I've got here is just got a simple head and I'm just going to do a mesh extraction on a masked out area of the head to create as a guide to use the brush on. So the brush um, has got two styles, it's got rounded and it's got a kind of manga style a kind of hair that you can do with a curve on surface brush. So that's just been created for you. So let's go and do mesh extraction on this piece here. So I just come down to sub tools, um, come down to the extract and just hit that extract button. Which will give me something like that, which is not really big enough. So I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker here. And that should do nicely. I'm just gonna accept that and press control and just clear my masking. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm gonna alt -key, key this piece here and just get rid of that mask as well and come back out as solo. So well, with this piece here, what you need to do to use this brush because it hasn't got welded points is use it when you're dynameshing, okay? So you can have this dynameshed section here and then you can clean it up and get the kind of hairstyle and then you can use that brush to uh, sort it out. So I'm just going running around it now. Um, I've got my symmetry turned on on the X and I'm just going to take it and just do a little bit of modification whilst I've got it in this area and I'll probably use my move a little bit here as well just to kind of tuck it in I don't want to get into too much of this just want to show you how the brush is kind of working all right okay so uh, what I'm going to do now is just going to come straight down to my Dynamesh and I'm going to set a resolution in there about 128 just because I want it to be um, not too high a resolution to work from and now I'm basically going to use things like the Damien standard maybe the clay build up to kind of put in a hairstyle for this character so I'm going to turn off symmetry just press the X key there and I'm going to run over the kind of parting area here so I'm just running this out this is a guide this is a quick guide to how use how to kind of use the brush um, so that will do. Maybe I want to use, take a little bit of stuff in here. So I might just cut away a little bit just to highlight what I can do with the brush. I'm just sort of moving these areas out a bit here. That'll do. All right, now I might just rescale this in a little bit just so it's a bit tighter to the head. Back into draw, back into move, make sure symmetry's turned back on. Yep. And I'll just move this back around the ear. Nothing too major here. All right, okay, so at this point when I'm using the brush, what I wanna do is I wanna up my levels probably to about 736, something like that. I'll re mesh, I'll just give it a bit of a clean up here. And I'm just gonna run around this really quickly with the smooth brush, just to get a base. So what I'm trying to do here is just create a base for me to use the brush on. So that'll do, um, maybe a little bit cleaner in here. something like that. make sure you turn symmetry off okay that'll do something like that all right okay let's load this brush in now so let's go to brush and load brush and I've got my little brush here on the surface and you can see what I've got here is I've got these kind of manga style and I've got these rounded ones as well. So we'll start off with a kind of manga style. I'm going to start with a single strand. Um, <clears throat> great thing about this brush is that it is curves, so you can kind of run things off. So I'm going to start with a single strand and kind of bring it in and across this piece here like that. Okay, so 
need to make it a little bit bigger so I'm just going to change that brush size and it's going to give me something like this that's good okay just click on there I'm just going to unmask by pressing the control key and now I'm going to dynamesh it and you'll see it's become part of the mesh so now I can use the smoothing just on some of it <clears throat> like this and I'm getting these nice tight lines drawn out so now I'm going to run this round again here and I'll just increase that size a bit here pull it out a bit just dynamesh that back in and slowly run this one out as well sort of just do a nice placement of things so you can kind of build things up like this using this brush again because I've dynameshed it I can smooth these areas back down and you can have control and kind of build areas up and dynamesh out to get rid of any of these little points I'm going to come into the two one now. Around there. That's quite nice. Click on here. And I'm going to start to work quite quickly now. So. Clicking on here. come into a three version maybe make that a bit bigger maybe too big there come in just modify this a little bit knock it back down and sort of build up on top so you're building this layering up on top of this And you can see how you can quite quickly kind of build this up. Um, I want to go over some of the settings in here now. With uh, one of these brushes selected, uh, you can actually change certain things. So I'm going to bring this around here. And you can see it's a really big brush here. Changing the brush size and clicking on this will make this smaller. But we can also go in and change some of the attributes of this as well. Such as if we come under brush and depth we can actually embed this more into the model so that you don't see it's pushed in more we could also go and take it out so we could take it away from the model as well by clicking that depth and you can see that's popped up there now so that could be helpful so I probably come in and change this just click on that and then update it there and we can also change the way the profile is working. So if we come into stroke and down to curve modifier and curve fall off, we can actually adjust this quite a lot. So I can make the end bigger if I wanted to. The end starts, sorry, the start is here. 
the end is here so if I click this it will make that end bigger um, coming down to this you could change it completely I can make it big and small so you could create that type type of effect if you click on it now it's going to go small here bigger small so you've got that control by using the curves of course you know if you want to if you want to drag one of these off you can drag it off and then it's just going to give you a more linear from one point to the to the other so if I wanted to make them all the same length I could take this end piece here and pretty much do it straight so it becomes a straight strand of hair so you have um, control in here to be able to change all of those things now if you're losing a bit of resolution on the curve and you want a bit more resolution on that curve you can also come down and the settings that we're looking at in here is the modifiers where you've got this curve red resolution so we can actually up that a bit and that will give us a bit better resolution on this piece if we drop it right down then you're going to see the quality is going to not be as good so if I do another one in there whoop, let's just click on it we've got that kind of thing going on yeah and you might decide to take that depth up and just work with it like this and then smooth and push those bits but remember because it masks each time you do it you could take an end of this and you could start to manually just move things in using the move brush so you could come into here and go oh well I don't like that I'm just gonna push that in a bit there make the brush bigger maybe push this whole side in by pressing the alt key there come in there and just modify this then dynamesh it all down smooth it back off and carry on working so that is that manga style brush which works quite well um, we've also got another brush in here we've got the round brushes which are quite effective and if I use this we can start to see how they work so it gives us these nice round patterns here again if I wanted to take that taper down on that side I can just bring the curve tolerance down there and it will just end that piece so if you want it to be more hair like rather than tusk like you can just alter that and it just changes that course changing the brush size will bring it down clicking on the model you can carry on so you can put these really nice curves out and I've given you another brush in here I actually prefer this hairbrush to the manga style ones but I've given you a double one as well so you can come around and do two strokes at the same time which is going to be handy remember also you can run this off the model so if you're running around here you could go like this and run it off the model so you don't have to be stuck in that same place now also bear in mind that you could come into the curve function here and maybe turn elastic on and inside here now it's going to be elasticated so I can actually sort of pull it out sorry let me just bring that brush size down I can actually pull pull it out like a like a rubber band so I can do what I like with it there now also remember that at the moment I can move the end point here but you can also lock those points so if you're making adjustments in here and you don't want the end to move or anything um, you can lock those points so elastic is really cool it allows you to move stuff around really easy like an elastic band and a similar function is liquid as well where you can sort of move stuff around um, that works really well as well um, but if you're out of liquid or elastic and you just want to lock the end or lock the start so I'll just lock the start here and what you're going to notice this end will not move now so whatever I do that will not move so I've got this control to do this now I can also lock the end I could lock the end and the start so if I went into this now and I locked the end and the start now nothing the end is not going to move it's just going to move this um, of course you know I can also lock the end and unlock the start so I can move this round and the ends not going to move so by using those tools you should be able to get exactly the effect you wanted to um, inside of here and of course you know you're dynameshing this stuff down you just go back a few put that in there 
and we've got that we can dynamesh that down and it will form part of this give you a nice thing and obviously the quality of this is based on your dynamesh resolution in here so if you up your dynamesh resolution and then you re-dynamesh it you're going to get better results in here but it does take a lot of thing but you can see how the hair is starting to look really good by using these techniques and just sort of putting stuff over the top like that re-dynameshing it down and you get these nice these nice overlays happening in here now I've also given you a four set this is for big swoops of hair so you might want to come down and use this one it's pretty cool um, again you know you might want to do some adjustments on your brush sizes here to get it right something like that and you could use that you could pull that down and create sort of a bang effect here if you wanted to again really easily by going into that modifier and then changing that and then hitting this it's gonna go small big small so you've got that effect change that brush size to reduce that overall size down and then you can re mesh that back in um, again we, if we wanted to we could turn the elastic on in here just turn that on and now I've got that ability to work with this like in a piece of elastic just click in there and move that around a bit better it's kind of locking over and of course dynamesh it down like that um, of course you know you've built that bit in there so you probably come over with something like this to kind of hide this little creasy bit that I've got going on so that would kind of hide it let's just reset that um, reset that curve back to what it was that's better brush size down and there we go so you're hiding that piece under there then and then once again you can start to smooth off the ends and of course you know back this up with standard sculpting as well and very quickly you can start to get these really nice effects going in um, very sharp effects um, for hair So it's good to use as a base so you can see there we've created that which is a bit of a mess but for this demo it uh, it proves what i'm trying to get across to you so go to my website mojo mojo dot design download the hairstyle um brush and once you've got it on your desktop just go to brush low brush go and find that brush open that brush and you'll have access to them and you can follow along with this course this little lecture okay um, I will show you how to make this brush um, in a future video so stay tuned for that.